encourage people to walk back. And the only way you can do that is cause people to seek God. Yeah, yeah. You gotta stop telling people you need to look like this and you need to look like that. Right. Listen, until a hard change washing come right. over yeah. you, you All can't right. change. Yeah. Amen. Mm. Give y'all a good analogy. God gave this to me a few weeks ago. He said, you know, I'm not familiar with all the surgeries, but I do know about lap band and maybe um, the other surgery. He said, when people have those surgeries, the surgery is done to help them lose weight. Mm -hmm. Am I correct? Mm -hmm. But that is a physical procedure. Mm -hmm. But after the procedure, if that person does not change their mind, mm -hmm. lap band and the other surgery will not work. That's right. So I would suggest if we had that, that after somebody's had the surgery and they ask out of the hospital, that we not take them to go to Corral. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> True. 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 Why would we want to put them in an environment that could cause them to not be able to do what they need to do? And this is why we need groups like Sisters Made of Clay where people can come and it needs to be a safe environment. Amen. Amen. If I call you today and I say I'm really struggling in my mind and my heart and I want to do this, I need to be able to talk to somebody who can say, okay, well, let's pray or can I come pick you up or do whatever. We need to be able to do that. Yeah. Yeah. And I believe that God is calling strategic people out everywhere, nationwide. Listen, the enemy has all kind of things set up to keep us in sin. Yeah. Jesus. But what are we doing as a church? You know what I've been thinking about doing, sister? I've been thinking about getting me a flyer that says, I welcome homosexuals. <laughs> I'm going to be kicked out from the rest of the folks, but that's all right. <laughs> How many of y'all sick of the familiar? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. 